even Santa Claus has to do a little shopping at Walmart. It's difficult for him to fly beneath the radar, even without the big red jacket. <laughs> the unmistakable laugh gives him away. I, I want a dollhouse. You do? You have to have a, a heart for it, you know? You have to have a love for kids and, oh, wow. With the Christmas season upon us, he has many personal appearances to make, since kids are learning that Santa lives in Monroe during the off season and not at the North Pole. He seldom leaves the house without the full regalia. Santa says he now knows that the dream was planted in his heart to be St. Nick in 1973. He was just a small child growing up in Oak Grove when his father was injured and couldn't work. We had nothing, and the city, uh, the chief of police, pulled up into our driveway one morning, and I think my mother thought I was in trouble, but I wasn't. And he opened the trunk of his car, and there was presents galore. That's when I decided I wanted to be like the chief in the town of Oak Grove. He says it was actually Mrs. Claus who told him he was put on this earth to be Santa Claus for this generation. But he already had a day job. Classic hits LA 105. Santa's hobby and alter ego is playing Big Jim Elliott on Classic Hits LA 105 alongside Griffin Scott in the mornings. Fortunately, the DJ job doesn't interfere with his duties as Santa. Say, ho, ho, ho. Keeping hope and love alive, he says, is the secret to his success. You just tell them to keep on loving one another. Beautiful. In Monroe, I'm Tammy Orinder with KNOE 8 News.